day. Good day, beautiful people. I have some news for you. I can't really say if it's good or bad, but I will just tell it to you. Our favorite 90s, nine, nine, the nine cent stores have officially announced that they are closing. So it's sad, but hopefully something, you know, we're opening up for something new and better. However, I had a feeling that some things were going to change. didn't know how they were going to change. So I went ahead and got a Costco membership and a Sam's Club. But guess what I ended up doing? Even though I have the memberships, I bought my paper towels and stuff at Target. And then I bought my gas at Shell when I was supposed to go to the memberships of the Costco or the Sam's Club to save money. So I still got to get the hang of using that membership <laughs> but anyway uh, I stopped by the 99 first thing in the morning because I had purchased a hat for like two dollars and some odd cents 68 cents something like that and the hat didn't fit right so I took it back and they had already started chopping prices so everything is like half off or yeah about half off it was a dollar something for that hat but they went ahead and gave me my money back and everything but still they're having the sales at, at our 99 store. So now's a good time. If there's something there you wanted to buy, check out your local 99 because they are officially closing them. That, that was their announcement. Now, things can always change. They may open something else and call it something else. But for now, uh, that's the word. Is that the 99? Our 99 only stores, 99 cents, 99, however you want to spell it, they are closing. And it's really sad because the first time I was introduced to the 99 store was when I was in college in uh, Tempe. And there's a location there that was one of the oldest stores. People would argue about if it was the first, whatever. Um, and it was right across the street from our library in Tempe. So I would go to that one by Sarah Michaels. She used to have a peach um, spray and a peach lotion. I used to love that smell. So I would just buy out her little travel kits her travel sets that she would have. And then I would look around, I would get the toothpaste to, and toothbrush, things like that. But I never really got the food. I just didn't quite trust it. But as years went on, and then I came back from the situation down south, I started trying the food at the 99 store. And a lot of it was the name brand, the same stuff. And that was one thing I liked about the 99 is that you could get the name brand stuff for less. It's the same stuff. It was just usually like a travel size, you know, a smaller version of uh, the big version. Same brand. So long story short, I am sad to see it go. You know, when you have just a little bit of money, it was a great place to buy what you need and get you through a week or two or whatever, however you ration out whatever it is that you purchase. So I had decided a while back that I wanted to kind of change some things up. So I had already made that decision before the announcement. And I am grateful to be able to have that kind of insight to look for something ahead of time and not really be so... Um, um, traumatized or... or affected by it because I don't know anywhere else that you could get name brand items for 99 cents and even though their prices had gone up you could still catch a deal because sometimes like they had the strawberries and they were delicious they were sweet strawberries for 99 cents you can't beat that anywhere so I hate to see it go I'm, I'm really going to miss those deals however you know we must move forward and move on I have some other good news to tell you. I won $5 <laughs> in the lottery, and I just kept it flowing, keep it moving, keep it moving forward uh, for the big one. So all in all, today the card did fairly well. I'm really grateful for that, and I don't know if sometimes it's the quality of gas that I, Sahara ran a lot better uh, with the shell gas. So I had also did some other fluids and other things i gotta still get the oil change but i did some stuff to the vehicle so that could be why too that 
uh, Sahara flowed a little bit better today, but I also kept today. And today's been a rainy day, it's been very cool. So that had a lot to do with it too. But I know when the summer hits, I have to find some kind of way to get that overheating issue taken care of all until I can get a proper get Sahara properly fixed. So grateful for that today. I was going to do a review on Dale Taco because I got the two free tacos for signing up with their app. But their meat was a little bit dry. The fries were a little bit cold. It just wasn't that great. And as I said before, if fast food isn't that great, is it really worth it? And the tacos were good. They taste like Del Taco's tacos. They were delicious. Um, however, you know, once you've had the fresh and the good food that they can make, when it doesn't, when it doesn't taste like you think that it should taste, it begins to not be worth it. Um, it was $7 for the carne asada fries. And uh, the tacos were like $2.49 or something like that. But they were free with the um, app. So I had asked her to scan it. She says, well, when you do it online, they don't scan. So i didn't see the points yet so i was like waiting well can you scan it because i didn't see the points but eventually the points did show up so that was that so then i drove out to another target to finish picking up my order which i didn't realize that it was even at that location picked it up anyway and paying for it they have these big old rolls of um paper towels so this will last me for a while and I got these at Target they're like really big paper towel rolls and also got some t-shirts that I like to wear for the summer so I'm ready for the summer and basically just keeping up with things that I, I need to do here in California so I'm grateful for the good weather I'm grateful that it was cool enough that my vehicle did not overheat as I made that journey over there to pick up my items grateful to have that good relationship uh, with my creditors and stuff so it turned out to be a pretty pretty neat day got my two free tacos enjoyed them and that was that and i tried the tea i was telling you guys about that i had purchased at the 99 cent store which we won't be trying any other ones because that's it um it had the blueberry blueberry iced tea i had never had blueberry iced tea before and it has zero sugar and it was a infused how do you infuse vitamins and antioxidants naturally flavored so it had a little bit of vitamin b12 niacin vitamin c b6 folate it had a supposedly a lot of good stuff in it i drank the it tastes all right and it had the blueberry in it as you can see my nails are growing thinking about getting a manicure but the nails are growing i don't have any gloss or anything on them right now i need to put something on them so that way i don't break them but anyway i tried the tea it tastes all right and it's a blackberry tea so we're going to wrap this up. Just want to let you know we're going live this weekend, come Sunday. And we're going to get our steps in. And I, we're also planning a trip to Costco's and Sam's Club. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I will chat with you all a little bit later. I just want to let you know that our 99s are officially closing. They have announced that they are closing. And we have some other new places that we shall check out their great deals and great value of course we're going to be buying in bulk so we won't do a lot of shopping i don't need a lot of things and we're going to check out some other things here in california and i'll keep you always posted and let you know what i'm up to obviously i've lost the weight you can see it in my neck you can see the difference so i'll talk to you later